Oh, I'm live. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I'm doing this instead of StreamYard, I'm doing it on YouTube. And I, there's no back room. I think that's the reason I don't do it. Unless I just don't know how to go in the back room. But hi, Bonnie. Hi, Becky. Hi, uh, Mary Jo. How is everybody? Can you hear me okay? Like I said, I'm doing this straight from YouTube. I'm not using StreamYard. And um, I haven't used this in a while. So I don't know if I'm doing this right. It looks different. <laughs> so, okay, let me see. Let me adjust myself. It didn't give me a chance. StreamYard, you know, you can go in the back room. You can make sure your camera is set right. And I didn't know how to do it on here. And see, it doesn't give me my little banner, which I guess you don't need. I'm not selling anything. I'm doing a live haul video and an unboxing video. So. Let me just get a little squared away. See, everything looks backwards. Um, I don't know if you, you know, I'm gonna turn on my my iPad. I had this ring light in my eye. I have to change that. So hang on. Sorry, I gotta adjust. Oh, that ring light is really gonna bug me. Hi, Mary. Okay, let's see. Let's see what it looks like on my Kathy the Kitschy Cat is wrapping up. She was also doing a haul video. So she's probably still going and that's fine. Hi, Poppy. So I'm going to just kind of get it together, get myself together here. Is there a mirror button? Do you guys, is can you read this or is that backwards to you? Tell me. I don't know. I don't see this. Is, this is completely different than StreamYard. I don't know how to work it. <laughs> I don't see any options for anything. Oh, there is an edit. Oh, it is right for you. Hi, hi, Kathy. Read it. Oh, you can read. It. Okay, so for me, it looks backwards. So, so this is like when when I'm looking at StreamYard, it, everything's backwards for me. But this, I think, is. Correct, I guess. I don't know. But let me, I'm going to turn on my um, my iPad. That'll give me a better idea, too, of where I'm at. Uh, let's see. How's everybody doing today? You know, I thought we were over the heat, the hot weather, but it's coming back. It's going back into the 110s, unfortunately. Okay, that's... And Okay, there we go. Let me turn that down. Um, I think that's okay. I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. A lot of things. A lot of stuff. So um, we have to. Yeah, still got to go through September. Hi, Katie. So I'm gonna. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to show you everything because I got a lot <laughs> between the things that I bought. Um, one item somebody gifted me and then from the antique mall that Becky and I went to, Becky's there in the chats. Um, so I'm going to try to go through it all. We'll see if, if I can't, then I'll have to, I'll do it, um, in a video, but I'd like to get this all done today. So let's see. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to start with this. Um, I was in a uh, Halloween drop shop. No, Halloween hop shop. Something like that with Halen Vintage. Um, I was in there and also I was watching, of course, afterward. And on um, Jerry and Tim from Vintage and Vino, they're also Zonies. Um, I got this from them. Look at how huge this is. And Becky was kind enough to get it from, from Tim and Jerry because I think she li they live close together nearby. And so she was able to bring this to the mall. So we exchanged. I had a box for her and then she had this for me. And it's a good thing because look at how huge this thing is. <laughs> it would have been really expensive, I think, to, um, to send this. Oh, what not crash? Oh, no. Oh, that's too bad. So anyways, let's get started on this. There's some goodies in here. And I know what one item is. But I don't know. I only I don't I only know what one item is. I don't know what anything else is. 
look at this. Little clown alert. But he is made out of those crocheted yo-yos. Oh no, wait a minute. Are these the yo-yos? Yes, they are. They're, they're little, they call it crochet yo-yos. I have a bunch of these little crochet yo-yos that I made and didn't have a clue what to do with them, but I never thought about making a doll out of them. So look how cute that is. So that's the one item that's in there. Oh, this cute little um, doily, perfect for Halloween. Oh, you had a box too to pick up from them? Yeah, so it all worked out. That's good. This, now this item, I'm so excited about this. Because this item, uh oh, where's her skirt? Oh, her skirt is missing. Oh no, her skirt's right there. There it is. Okay, her skirt was just lifted up. This little gal was mine. And Jerry bought this from me. Um, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. And now I got her back. Look how cute she is. She doesn't have any uh, little kids for Halloween. So um, she's, you know, selling all of her Halloween. You remember, Kathy? So, yep. So this little girl, this little cutie is probably going to go up for sale again in one of my sales. So <laughs> she's I'm going to sell her twice. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy her for a while. Isn't she cute? I have to find all my Halloween costumes from all, all my little dollies and get them all dressed for Halloween. So we'll put her there for now. Um, oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy mackerel. Look at this. Oh, little teddy bear all dressed up in a costume, little kitty cat costume. Is that not the cutest thing? So cute. Garfield as a little devil. <laughs> I, this was a, I tell you what, this was a bargain. Oh my gosh, this was just a bargain. <gasps> Look at this little monkey. He's a gunned, gunned monkey. And somebody made a little, oh no, I guess he had the hat. And I think somebody made a little, um, a little mask for him. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I have a lot of stuffies now. And look at this. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I was the only one that bid on this. I'm serious. because Oh no, no, somebody else did. But then they let me have it because I was so disappointed I didn't get it. <laughs> but look at that. I tell you what, this was quite the bargain. Um, there's another little pumpkin in here, a little pumpkin pail from McDonald's. Oh, a McDonald's one. My first McDonald's pail. There's some little Pez dispensers. There's a, two little pumpkins. And then little ghosties, two little ghosts, a little brooch. We're not done yet. This thing goes on and on. It's like Mary Poppins. Look it. That's another Snoopy. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Try to get reels. Hi, Mary Beth. And then there's a little puzzle in here. A holographic puzzle. How cute. Oh, brand new, never been open. Cool. And I think that is it. And that was a lot. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. That was cool. That was fun. I knew that would be fun. And then I have this. And I collect these plastic uh, candy pails. And this is a huge one. And she said it is vintage. Uh, it's made in USA. General foam. Plastic, Norfolk, Virginia. So yeah, that'll go with my other pumpkins. Cool. I am so happy about that. I'm going to put some of these back in here to, um, I'll leave some of them out for now. That was awesome. That's awesome. So now I have some other stuff. Yeah, that, isn't that a cool pumpkin? He's huge. Okay, now this box is actually from eBay. So this is something I purchased from eBay, but I'm going to go ahead and open it. 
Um, I have more stuff coming in the mail, but I'll just go ahead and show you what I've got so far. Um, Cause I know I've been buying like crazy lately. Um, I need to slow down on my purchases, but there's so many resellers out there that are just selling so many cool things. And hi, Gadita, Gatita. I don't know. <laughs> Probably in the she shed. If you would see, if you knew all the Halloween stuff we have, oh my gosh. I think we do plan on having um, some yard sales probably, hopefully in September or the beginning of October. And I'm going to start going through stuff. And I have so much Halloween set that I didn't even put it all out last year. Same with Christmas things. We don't even use it all, but we have too much because every year we're buying more. So um, maybe I'll sell. I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. <laughs> but I do want to start selling the duplicates and the just the things that we just don't use anymore. We have a whole Halloween village that we used to put out. I don't know if we'll do it again. We might. Um, even my husband, even when he was single, he used to do all this Halloween stuff. Um, and even me, when I didn't have grandkids and my son was grown, I still put my Halloween stuff out. So I know some people, if they don't have kids or grandkids, they don't do it, but I do. I always have. So this is um, one of my other sessions. If you guys know me, you probably know what this is going to be. And I might not open all of these. There's three that are very similar. And I did get this on eBay. Because I haven't been able to get any on a live sale because people just snatch them up. So I thought, I'm just going to go to eBay and see if I have, can find any good deals. And once in a while, you do. I love this. And uh, this collection is also growing. <gasps> Look at So, yeah, I collect nuns. Little nun figurines, nun dolls. And there's three that are very similar to this. Um, they are made in... I think, I don't know if it's Taiwan. Oh. Oops. <laughs> now I'm not used to this. Um... Oh, I can't read that. Let's see. Oh, Japan. No. Oh my gosh, I still don't know. Uh, Japan. <laughs> Japan. It's kind of faded. But yeah, so I got three little, three little nuns, and they're all just a little bit different, um, but they're all the same, same material. Um, these were really inexpensive. I can't believe it. With free shipping, it's like I don't know. They could, they could not possibly have made any money on this. Is all I gotta say. But this is for my own collection. There are three. I'll show you the two. I love these. I said that's my my passion. I'm not sure why but they are. <laughs> and I was raised Catholic. Um, I did not go to Catholic school, but uh, yeah. You decide to put up your cool ornament candle holders. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Yeah, the pumpkin is a container. That's for sure. And yeah, and I could put. Look, I could use that. That you're right. So I can put all that stuff in the pumpkin. So it is a nice container. Then I got this, and this is from Janice. And this is was a, something I was bidding on. And um, I went out because it was going higher, you know. And Edward purchased this for me. <laughs> Like what? Oh my gosh, so sweet. So let's let's look at this. These were so cool. Jen had a bunch of these. They're bigger than I thought. 
They're like vintage inspired little cards, or actually they're quite large cards. But the images are so cool on these. And I love these, look at this. I wanna copy these and um, do something with them. So these in itself is not vintage, but they're vintage inspired. Look at how cute. And this. So when I saw these on her preview, and I really wanted this one. I really wanted that one. And uh, thank you to Edward. Thanks so much, Edward. So sweet of you. Um, he got these for me. And this one, too. I mean, I love them all, but I really like this one, too. So, yeah, these are so cool. They almost look, because of the shadow, they look three-dimensional. They're not. They're all flat. Um, but they're so cool. They do have little holes, too, so you could hang them up. But I think I'm going to copy these and maybe make some. Yeah, her, they were very popular. Some of them went up pretty high, but, um, yeah. Yeah, Edward's super sweet. Super sweet. So thank you, Edward. Um, I'm going to put everybody's link down below in the when I'm done with the live. I don't think I did it yet. Um, this is from the Kitchy Cat. Now, the Kitchy Cat, she had a, sa a craft sale the last two weeks, last week and the week before, and I bought something from her, from Kathy. Well, let's get this open. I'm excited to see this. Like, I need more crafting stuff, right? I know. I know, but when you see good stuff, got to get it. And Kathy picks up a lot of cool items that you don't find. You don't find them out here. Um, so, sorry I didn't open this before, but... Sabrina's gift. Huh? What do you mean Sabrina's gift? I don't understand. I think this is what I purchased. I did make a purchase from Kathy. Oh, this was from Sabrina. So this is not the one I bought. Oh my God, this is from Sabrina. Aww. Look it. Oh my gosh. I, I, didn't, I thought I ordered, I did order something from her. I have to ask her about that. Oh my gosh. So I didn't get her box yet. Oh my God, look at this. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Oh, man. Oh, look at these buttons. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, my gosh, you guys. And a lot of ribbon and laces. I do use these for, oh, that's perfect for Halloween. Oh, man. There's all kinds of little uh, laces and... Well, I thought this was the one I ordered. <laughs> How did you know, Kathy? Oh, so this is from the week before. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I can I use all this in my junk journaling, my crafting. Oh, so thank you so much. Oh my gosh. There's little bows in there. So fun. A lot of cool stuff. See? This, this community. So thoughtful, everybody. <laughs> I had, I mean, somebody did slip out that Sabrina sent me something, but I didn't know from who. I had no clue. Um, so I thought this was um, what I had purchased. But that is from Kathy the Kitschy Cat. Like I said, she finds some really cool things. So, awesome. Okay, so that's from her. And I will put Sabrina's channel link and also, of course, Kathy the Kitschy Cat. And then I have one more box to open before we go through the, the antique mall stuff. This is from Christine, and this is um, Janine's sister, her twin sister. And they have a sister sale on Fridays. And this was, I think this was one of their shop, shop our shelves, which is really a fun, fun sale. So they just go over to their shelves, and you 
pick out what you want and you give them a price that you want to pay. If more than one person is interested, then it goes as an offer. Otherwise, you get it for that price. And I don't remember what this is. I honestly do not remember what I got from her. I think it was one item. Oh, yes, yes, I do remember. I thought this was really interesting. Okay, let me set this aside. This is a ceramic piece, I believe. And I thought this might look good in a Halloween display. It is a Holland mold. And look at, I just thought this was so cool. I love the glaze on this. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I don't know, I was just drawn to this. Um, I just love the glaze. And to me, it looks kind of fall or Halloween. And I just thought I could do something with it. I'm not sure what yet. But something, maybe an assemblage, or I don't know. But isn't that just, I don't know, is it just me? Or I just think this is so cool. I just love it. And it is Holland Mold. Monster Goblet, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just love it. I love all the, the design of it. And I love how they did the glaze. They did an awesome, awesome job on the glaze. So yeah, so I got that from Christina. Is it Christine or Christina? I think I keep calling her Christina. I think it's just Christine, but yeah, that is so cool. So thank you, Christine, for getting that to me safe. And then, oh my gosh, let's go over, um, like I said, I met Becky at the Mesa Antique Market. I have not gone through this box since I came home. Um, so let's go through it together. With your, oh yeah, with dry ice bubbling, that would be cool. So this is all kinds of stuff at the antique mall. And um, let's start with, you know, I love dolls. I love dolls. This is one of those storybook dolls. And she was a pretty good price. They had some, some booths had her for quite, quite a lot of money. Um, but she was a reasonable price, and she was um, also discounted. I think she was 20% off. They had, like, the whole store was 10% off, unless, you know, the seller said no discount. But um, I think she was 20% off. So I had to pick her up because I love my dolls. One of these days, I'm going to transform these dolls. I don't know when, but... That's the idea I have in my head. I had to get this one because I do collect these little babies. This one is, um, I don't know if it's celluloid or plastic, but I thought he was cool. <laughs> um, I've been getting bear, a lot of bears lately. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to have a plush sale, I think. I don't know. Um, well, anyways, let's, first of all, this, this is not vintage, but this lady, she does have a vintage booth. And if you've seen my reels, um, this was one of the, the booths that when, when we first got there, she has so many cool things, but this is made with like a vintage, um, mm, what do you call this? Oh my gosh. I forgot. Becky, help me. <laughs> Chenille, yes, Chenille, thank you so much, Chenille. But I thought it was so, so cool, pumpkin. And she had all different colors, all different kinds, sizes, and I just fell in love with this one, so I got that. She makes all kinds of things in there, really, really fun. Um, I did pick up, like I said, some, they pack these boxes, I'm trying to get the stuffies out, but they're really jammed in there, so I can't get it out yet. Oh, and then I also pick up this. Um, from her. She had this in the clearance, which was, they have an upstairs and everything up there is 50% off. And this was in the 50% 50 off. And again, it's made from chenille, like an old chenille bedspread or, isn't that cute? And she made a little yo-yo. I thought that was so pretty. Pretty for Valentine's Day or springtime. I got this really nice brooch. It says as is, and Becky and I were both looking at it, trying to figure out what is wrong with this brooch. 
not really sure. Becky noticed there is like a little tiny, I don't even know if that's a crack. This almost looks like, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think it's a crack. I think it's where they piece together a piece. So I can't find anything wrong with this. But isn't it cute? It's enamel, black enamel, and just precious. It's a really, really cute little brooch. But now that I'm looking at that, we thought maybe there was a little crack in it. But now that I look at it better, I can see there's two. It almost looks like that's where they pieced it together to make the, I don't know, I could be wrong. But I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, you got, you ended up with three, went back for purple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had purple too. Purple pumpkins. Um, so I don't remember what I got. I don't know. What this, this is glass, but what is it? Oh, yes. I'm so attracted to marigold. I don't know why it's not selling for me, but, um, but I did pick up another one. <laughs> this one's quite large. And I forgot who made this. If this was Fenton. Um, it does have some straw marks in it on it. But it's just beautiful. Do you remember, Becky? Was this Fenton? Oh, yes, it's a peacock. No, no. Yes, I'm sorry. There's the, I'm trying to find the peacock. The peacock's right there. But I don't remember if it was Fenton Peacock. Yes, this is gorgeous. And look how big this is. I think this was 20 or 25% off. So yeah, I picked that up. Imperial. I don't know if it's Imperial. Becky, can you, do you remember? Oops. <laughs> but yeah, that is just gorgeous. Um, I didn't get a lot of glass, but in fact, that, I don't know if that's the only glass. Let's see, they got this. Oh, this. You know, um, another thing I collect um, is Toby mugs. And I, I got this little Toby mug. So it might go in my collection. <laughs> it's not marked. But this one's, usually they, they're colored and different, you know, painted differently. Um, this one is just all brown glaze, but I love it. And it's the perfect size to go with all my other. Jeanette, I don't know if it was Jeanette. I'll have to look it up. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was Fenton, but maybe it wasn't Fenton. Gosh, I don't know. But I love this little guy. Little like Toby mug. And then, um, like I said, I did get some bears. So let's show, let's get these bears here. Oh, look at, and they're boys' bears, and they're so cute. Look at this one. He's all dressed up like in a, I guess a millet. I don't know what kind of outfit that is. The pants don't really look like they, they go with the top. Maybe they do. I don't know what he's supposed to be. Let's see if this says. Hmm. Oh, something Beanster. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but um, but he's cute, so I did get him. And then <laughs> I got another one. She's for fall, but look at how cute she is. She's another voice bear. Oh, 1911 Fenton. What do you mean 1911? Oh, you, a Marine's uniform? Okay, that could be. But look at how cute she is. And I don't know if she has a tag. She doesn't have the tag like the other, the paper tag. But she is really cute. Um... I don't know. She doesn't have a name. I'll have to look her up. But I thought she was perfect for fall. Cute. She's a little bit bigger. And those were all are all going to be for sale. And then this little girl, I didn't know how much she was or anything, but I thought she was cute. So I did pick her up. She'll probably be like an add-on item on my sale. So it says to and from. So I just thought she was cute. And our live sales, we do add-ons. So if somebody makes a purchase, at the end of the sale, we'll do like between zero and $5. We'll do little add-on items. 
Um, I picked up this little fabric, um, half a yard. I thought it has a little mice on it. I thought this would be cute for Halloween. So I'm going to try to use this in a Halloween project. So, oh, the year? Really? 1911? Whoa. I better be really careful with that. I mean, not that I wouldn't anyways, but mm -hmm, being that old, you know, things that are around that long and then it comes to Kathy. And, um, this is Flow Blue. I love Flow Blue. It's just a little saucer. I wish they had the cup, but they didn't. But I am in love with Flow Blue, and I do have a couple pieces. These go for a lot of money online. But for when I see them a lot of times out in the wild, they're not very expensive. But this one also has some gold trim on it. So I did pick that up. You and Patsy. Huh? You and Patsy, what? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll set that over there. Um, I did get some books. This is... Um, collecting little golden books and I just thought just interesting to see what's out there because I do so although now I, I don't find golden books anymore it's like they I don't know goodwill must send them. oh hi Jeannie how are you it's so good to see you again we missed you and we have been talking about you um Sabrina and uh Leanne, I'm wondering, where's where's Jeannie? I hope she's okay. And when we don't see you guys, we do worry about you. Um, so I'm glad you're back, and I hope you're you're feeling okay. Oh, Flow Blue. Oh, I didn't know Patsy collected Flow Blue. So anyways, I thought this was just a nice little book. Um, Becky found it for me. And I thought it was something good to look at, you know. I'm not a golden book collector, but if I do see them, I like to get them. And it's nice to, to know about things that you're selling. <laughs> so I did pick that up. It's good to have reference books. And reference books are hard to find. They're hard to find, especially at a good price, because Goodwill, you can't find them. Um, I don't know if they're if those are on their eBay store, but you can't find them. And then I got this book. It's very, it's not in the best condition, but it's uh, Little Mama. Look at the back. Oh, I love these images. So this is something I have to get my scanner fixed, but I love the images on this. Oh my gosh, this is really old. Um, let me see if it has a year. A copyright 1902 by Benjamin Walter. Oh my gosh. And for, for being as old as it is, it's in really good condition. Oh my gosh. So this is something that I'm going to have to scan. Oh, these images are just so awesome. Look at that. Oh, I just love them. They're like woodcuts. Oh, they're just, I mean, like I said, for being this old, wow. Really, really nice. So, um, Little tissue. Remember when they used uh, they used to put tissue paper in between the the books way back when? <laughs> but yeah, a lot of really really beautiful images. Oh, you will. Okay, well, we're gonna pray for you. Let's pray for that Jeannie gets gets better and that her surgery is a success. Usually. See, only one. Oh, most of the collector books only had one printing at usually a specialty print shop. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, that's so cool. I love that. I think, um, again, I think Becky might have, Becky finds things for me. <laughs> she finds things for me. Um, let's see what this is. They wrapped this so it might be glass. Oh, no, this is a... Um, they call it a porringer, which I don't know what a porringer is, but the, this is a porringer. This was also in the 50% off. I think it's um, silver plated. It says Wallace M633 on the back. 
So if anybody knows about porringers, let me know. I don't know what, what they're for. But I thought that was pretty, I like that. And I, I, I like silver plated items. I would prefer silver, but I can't afford them. Oh, they're for porridge. Hi, uh, Heather. Oh, so that's porridge. Is that all the porridge they get? <laughs> that's not very much. More, please. Remember that show, that movie? All right. And then, let's see what else did I get. Oh, I got a flower frog. Little flower frog. Put your marbles in there. I got this one because it's the unusual one. I, I get a lot of the other ones, that the standard, but this one is higher up. And I thought it was really cool. So I did pick that one up. And oh my gosh, ugh, I, I have never spent so much money at one place. <laughs> but um, but I got some cool stuff. This <laughs> I love old, rusty, crusty, whatever. And I thought this was perfect for Halloween. It was, wasn't very much, and it was 20% off. Um, and the hat pins came with it. The lady was there stocking her booth, so I said, did the hat pins come with it? She was like, ah, sure, why not? <laughs> so it came with two little hat pins. And I forgot to see if they glowed. Uh, let's see if they glow. Mm. Mm. It's hard to tell, really. The screen one might glow a little bit. But yeah. Hi, Mark and Michael. How are you doing? <laughs> Probably for long stemmed flowers. But anyways, yeah, that was, I love that bottle. I just, that's going to go in my Halloween display. We're almost done. We're almost done. Um, I said, this is almost like, I, for, like, I forgot. This was last Saturday. Oh, I forgot what somebody, oh, this, this is another thing that I thought was really cool. Okay. Tell me if anybody knows what this is. I just thought they were really cool. Some kind of scissors, but does anybody know? I did look it up. I want to see if anybody knows. I believe them to be brass. Hey, Jen. They could be for candles. Um, that was one, just when I looked it up, somebody did say it could be for candles, but there is actually another um, use for these. I don't know which one's correct, but it has like a little thing that would probably catch something. Hi, Kathy. I just opened uh, one of your packages. I thought it was the item that I ordered from you, but I guess it was something that Sabrina got for me, which I... I had no idea she got something from you for me. <laughs> Anybody else know before Becky says it? We both looked it up while we were there. It's just very interesting. Hi, Dana. Yes, yeah, cigars. It's for cigars. Isn't that interesting? I don't know a whole lot about it, so I'm going to have to um, look it up. Some say candle wick trimmer, but then the other ones say that it's actually for cigars. So maybe that's what catches the little end of the cigar. I don't really know, but that's what when we Googled it. So yeah, that was so cool, Kathy. I was happy. I'll, I definitely can use those. You know me. Okay, so um, I got two more of these. More Raggedy Ann and Andy's. These are probably more modern. Um, so they're another take on the Raggedy Ann and Andy. And these are angels. So there's Andy, I believe. Yes, that's Andy. And this is Raggedy Ann. So if I see these and they're a decent price, I do pick them up because we do have some Raggedy Ann and Andy lovers that come to our shows. And these will be for sale. Well, I have a lot, a lot of dolls and, and stuff right now. And then, oh, patterns from the 80s. Okay. From the 80s. And then I got some ephemera. 
Um, I did get a few cards. Suppose you remember the girl you left behind. This is from 19... Gosh, I don't know. This was just... But I love, you know me, I love old postcards. And then I got two of these religious ones that I really like. They're kind of dark. I mean, you know, they're black and white. And um, the Madonna is very dark. Like, I don't know if she's clothed in black or it just comes up in black like that. But you need to do some raggedies. And yes, you sure do. Because there's a lot of people out there that love Raggedy Ann and Andy's and they collect them. And look at this one. You probably saw this on my, um, Becky was showing, oh no, you, you'll see it tonight. I'm posting another short tonight. But um, Becky found this one. At first I wasn't going to get it because she is, you know, she's tattered. But again, I'm going to scan her and I'm going to use her for my junk journals because that she is so sweet. Uh, this is from 19, I want to say, I think it's 1912. And then this one, this one reminds me of Gone with the Wind. It says, I am coming home. So I've got that. And then I got one uh, cabinet card. Isn't she lovely? And then these I thought were interesting. I think these are from 1939. Little Red Riding Hood. See, I want to keep all this stuff. <laughs> Just want to keep it all. Um, this wasn't cheap, but <laughs> I bought it anyways. Because I just absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. And Mother Hubbard's, I might sell one of these, but I'm going to keep one. <laughs> Just because, but I just thought these were so cool. Oh, I love, I love this kind of stuff. We only find these kind of things if we go to an antique mall. Uh, we don't see it anywhere else. So you never see them in them colors. Was it, um, I'm not sure what you can see. Were you talking about the uh, Raggedy Ann's, Katie? Okay, and one other thing I got there, I don't know why I'm crazy, is a jewelry jar. I know. This little bird, I think, got me. They had quite a few jewelry jars. Look at that. So, um... That probably might be another show <laughs> going through this jewelry jar. <laughs> oh, I had to read the chat earlier. Late 70s, early 80s. Yeah, I'll have to go up there and see. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm not keeping up with the chat. Hi, Kay. But yeah, it's going to be fun going through this. Through this. So. But anyway, so far, what do you guys think? You have a favorite? Any of these items? Now, I did go yesterday to um, a thrift store. And it wasn't, I didn't get a lot there. I got a couple items. Um, I got this. Now, I don't think this is what it says it is. <laughs> I just don't. I have a gut feeling that it's not. You saw a wonderful rhinestone button. Oh, yeah, this one right here. That one. Yeah, I have a feeling there's some really cool stuff in here. I cannot wait to go through it. Look at that. It, it looked like a really good one. There's all kinds of cool stuff. I can't wait to go. And it wasn't bad. And it was 10% off. But I see some really cool stuff in there. And I tell you what, the price of this, I think it was 20 I think they were $20. Oh, it says right here. Yeah, $19.99, and then it was 10% off. I see these more in 
for more at a thrift store, <laughs> the thrift store I go to, they want like $30 for a jar. So I thought, that's not a bad price. And I see some really nice stuff in there. Hi, Denise. Um, you know, I don't know if anything glows. I didn't even check. Hold on. Let's see. There's an acrylic piece that glows. Yeah, there are some things that do glow. There's a like there's like a pearl. Oh, you probably won't be able to see it on here, but there's it looks like a pearl brooch. That glows. And there's some earrings that glow. Yeah, there's a lot of glowies in there. Oh, look at that. So I don't know if, you, if it comes across on screen. Yeah, there is a lot of glows. This looks like it's mother of pearl. So yeah, that's going to be really fun. Maybe I'll do a, a video on that, opening that up, because that's going to take a while to go through. So I might do a video on that. She had a set of 12 rhinestone buttons in one of her sales. Oh, huh. Oh, they're 65 to 85. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she has several um, jars. She also has some buttons, but, oh, my gosh, you guys, I am, like, a button hoarder, and I have so many buttons. <laughs> I couldn't see myself buying another thing of buttons. But I have been using them for crafting, so, yeah. But yesterday, um, my desert, my desert, um, it's Purple Heart Desert Thrift. It's senior day on Wednesdays and they had 25% off. I did not go to Goodwill on Tuesday. Um, but I got this. Now, they're saying Talavera. I don't think it is Talavera. Um, but I still like it. It is Mexican pottery. I thought it was cool. It's got two fish in there. It's got the handles. I have a feeling somebody, I don't know why. That's just my gut feeling. I could be wrong. I think somebody wrote that on, on with um, a Sharpie. It's just my gut, but I could be wrong. <laughs> it just doesn't look the way they usually sign it. And this doesn't look like, usually the Talabira is, uh, is very vibrant colors. I mean, I could be all wrong, but that's just the way I feel. But I still thought it was a beautiful piece of Mexican pottery. Hi, Sabrina. Thank you so much. I opened your the gift from Kathy. Um, Thank you. I was so surprised. I love it. And I would definitely use what's in there. A lot of cool stuff in there. Um, so I got that. And then I got, you guys are going to think I'm absolutely nuts. Lost by my mind. Let's see if I can find it. Um, maybe I can't find it. I got a bag of more stuffies. Um, Oh, here. <laughs> they just didn't have anything at this store. And sometimes it's like, I don't know, you want to buy something. But these are cute. And like some of these I'm going to use like as um, for add-on gifts. Like look at this little poo, bear, poo guy. I couldn't resist him. Little poo. So these are all stuffed animals. Look at this. It's a kitty cat. How could I, not, how could I leave her behind? She is a tie. But she's so cute. Uh, now, there were some Boyds. And people do collect Boyds. And I never see these anymore in the wild. The Boyd bears are harder and harder to find. Oh. <laughs> um, and I did, leave, I did leave some of them behind. Look at her. She even has her little, her little muff. <laughs> like cute. She's a Boyd bear. Um, this one, it says Happy Spring. I'll just go over those quickly. And another kitty cat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I had more in my baskets. I think somebody just donated uh, either theirs or maybe they passed away and somebody just donated all of their um, stuffies. And most of them were, um, were boys. Boys bear. Um, and some ties. And then I just got these little um, cookie cutters, Halloween cookie cutters at the Desert Thrift. Because I thought they were fun. And uh, skeletons and witches and just fun stuff for, um, for Halloween. I don't think they're vintage. They could be vintage. 
They do make they did make plastic um, probably seventies or eighties. For spiders and bats, little ghosts. I'm gonna say ghosties now, just because I don't know if anybody saw Catherine Young's post on Instagram. Some lady got mad at her, was yelling at her on Instagram because she said ghosties. <laughs> Oh, she's like, what are you, five? She says, quit saying ghosties. It's like, really? Why do you even care? <laughs> we say boo and a little Frankenstein. So, yeah, that's everything. Oh, I'm sweating now. so hot in here. But, yeah, that's all of my, my haul. Oh, I have so much stuff. Yeah, I didn't go um, to Goodwill because I thought, oh, I have so much stuff. I better just keep, what you know, just sell what I have. Um, but then yesterday I thought, oh, it's 25% off. I might, might go see what they have. And Saturday they're going to have a 50% off sale store wide at the, the thrift store. So I might pop in there. So, yeah, I like them too, Kay. I thought they were cool. You like boys and, and tie? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the boys' bears are very hard to find now. Very hard. Every once in a while, I'll come across one like at a when we did yard sales, but it's been too hot now for yard sales. Um, I thought the weather was going to start cooling down because um, it was like in the 90s when when Becky and I met last Saturday. I think it was. I don't even know if it hit 90, but uh, yeah, it is an addiction. K, it's definitely an addiction. <laughs> even my granddaughter says. Why didn't you sell what you have before you buy more? Like, well, because that'll miss all the fun. <laughs> so anyways, but yeah. So it was like in the high 80s, I think, the day that I met um, met up with Becky. Um, but it's going to get up to 110, 113 again. Oh, you know. Yeah, you know, I have a, um, I oh, no, it's not a set. I have a Christmas bear. I think it was from Walmart. I should try to sell that too. Yeah. Silly, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 80s are cool in Arizona. <gasps> the car, air went out in your car. Oh, no. Oh, 75. That's perfect. I love the 70s. I think that's perfect. The pool did cool off, though. The water in the pool is cool now. Um, is Tiger on right now and whatnot? Perfect. Oh, I don't jog. <laughs> Hi, Angie. It's 101 there. Oh, my gosh. It must be so, with the humidity, it must be horrible. Because you're in Wisconsin, right? Man. Yeah. Well, guys, it's almost been an hour. So I'm probably going to just wrap it up. Yes, um, something, yeah, Becky was saying that they, it crashed. I wonder if it's back up. Yeah, I heard back in, like, in Minnesota and back there, it was um, going to be in the hundreds. Oh, jog walk, yeah. I never could jog or run. I always get, I always get those side stitches, you know, that just, oh, my side just kills me. I don't know why. I just could never run. Even as a kid, it was hard for me. You know, I could run around like kids do, but if to run like in a race, I would always get those little side stitches. Oh, humid and yucky, yeah. It's actually kind of sticky here because we did have a little bit of rain. Um, yesterday it was really cloudy. Today the sun's back up. So at 7 o'clock, it was 103. <gasps> what? That's crazy. That could kill them. Five inches of rain last night. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah. I wish I could jog, but I can't. I, I can uh, just have to walk for exercise. And I can't do that until it cools off because it's too hot right now. My husband and I, we like to, we want to start going walking in the evening when it cools off. So, doesn't show any shows in there. Huh. Is what not back on? I have to go and see. I know. I think Bree was on earlier, but I didn't. I didn't go on. Um, I was trying to get ready for for this. 
But anyways, I'm going to wrap it up. So let's see. I'm going to have a sale on Sunday night. It's going to be on, I think it's on Leanne's channel. Is it? Oh, no, wait a minute. No, it's on. Sabrina, are you here? I think it's on Sabrina's channel. Um, yeah, because it was on Leanne's last Sunday. So on Sabrina's channel at 9 o'clock Eastern, uh, Leanne will be joining us. From, oh, yes, it is on your channel. Okay, I thought so. So, um, yes. So if you're not following Sabrina, please follow her. And Sabrina, if you want to put your link in, go ahead and put your link in. Um, so at nine o'clock Eastern with um, Leanne from Crafty Kitty Vintage, every Sunday night we do a sale at nine o'clock Eastern. I know all of you that are in the chat know this, but in case somebody is watching on the replay that doesn't know. Um, and then... I think that's it. It was a busy week for me because I had a sale Saturday with Trish, Trisha, and then Sunday, the Chatty Kitties, and then Tuesday, yesterday, with Jen, and that was fun. Was it yesterday? No, no, it was Tuesday. Tuesday with Jen, and that was like a really quick one, 30 minutes, but oh my gosh, I did really, for 30 minutes, I was so happy of what I sold, and but I felt like I was racing and couldn't breathe. <laughs> but um, so now I'm just trying to get caught up on my shipping and um, I'm trying to do, I'll do Saturdays first and then Sundays and then work my way to Tuesdays. And hopefully I'm going to get it all done before Sunday, um, except for anybody that has an open box. Sabrina is on at six. Oh, okay. So Sabrina and Kat Calypso Antiques will be on today. So go catch them. They always have a really cool sale. And that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. So it's uh, 2 o'clock. So everybody have a great day. Stay cool. And I'll see you around in the chats. Bye. Oh, it's Friday. No, it's Friday with um, Sabrina. Sorry about that. Tomorrow. Bye, everybody.